To pair the R1 to my iOS device, I'm going to go into the settings and then Bluetooth. It'll find the R1 listed as GNSS with the last five of the serial number. I'll tap on it to connect. And then once connected, it'll be listed under my devices. Now I can close the settings. Now we're ready to go into the GNSS status, which is a free configuration app from Trimble. It's going to connect to my internal receiver on iOS. And I'll go into the menu and then source to select the Bluetooth R1. So under position source, we're going to tap Bluetooth. And then my R1 will show as it's already been paired with this device before. So I'll tap on it and then hit select and then it'll connect. Once it's connected, I'm going to go into the menu again and choose corrections. I'm going to change this to the SBAS, which will be a standard correction type on the R1 and probably the best one to use. So I'll tap save and we'll hit the menu again and we'll go to the home. We're just going to confirm that the SBAS is connected and it looks like it is. We're going to launch the Survey123 app. Once signed in, we'll tap our location profile, go into settings, and then select location. From here, we're going to add provider. It should search and find the R1 and we'll tap on it to connect. Then we have some additional settings to select. So we're going to go into the antenna height and we're going to put to how high this is being held off the ground. And then we can also select the altitude reference type. So we can either have our mean sea level or we can switch it down to height above ellipsoid. If I want to view the satellite information, I'll tap the satellite icon and you'll see that it lists the mode as differential. So that's the SBAS correction. And then I can see my estimated accuracies as well. So I'm ready to collect data.